Hi, this is Andy with Condi Systems, and today I'd like to show you how to set up your Epson Workforce 7010 as a shared printer on your Windows based computer using the power driver. The first thing you're going to want to do is actually install the printer onto whichever computer you're going to be sharing the computer the printer from. This is going to be the computer that the printer is actually physically connected to. Just simply install the drivers from the CD, or you can download the driver from Epson's website, install the drivers, follow the prompts, it's pretty straightforward. Once you have the printer installed, simply right click, go to properties. You want to come over to the sharing tab, tell it to share the printer, and give it a name. Or for better options, we'll call it WF7010. Once we apply this and hit OK, we're now ready to set up any and all client computers. The next step gets a little tricky. A power driver will not let you actually connect to a shared printer, so we're going to have to install this as a local printer. However, we do not have a local port on this computer that connects directly to the printer, so we're going to have to create one. The easiest way to do this is to share one of your local ports to that network port. Go into All Programs, Accessories, and Command Prompt. We're going to use a DOS command to actually share this port. Now you need to know the, the computer name of the computer that the printer is connected to as well as a shared name. We're going to use the net use command. You're going to type in net net space use and then a local port. One of the LPT ports are the best options. So we're going to use LPT2 and then we're going to type a colon behind it and then a space. Next we're going to type in two backslashes and then the computer name that the printer is connected to in this case it's Smallville, another backslash, and then the shared name of the printer, WF7010, and just simply hit enter. Once you get the message that says the command completed successfully, you now have that port shared. The next thing we want to do is install the driver. Now I'm going to manually install a printer on this computer. You want to go into your printer list right click in any empty area and add a printer. I'm going to tell it next. I'm going to tell it a local port attached to this computer and hit next. One thing I want to point out, you want to make sure if you have the option for automatically detect, you do not want to have this box checked. Next we're going to select the port that we shared. In this case LPT2 and click next. I'm going to select have disk browse and I'm going to pick the Epson CD. From here I'm going to go into common printer whichever win folder 32-bit versus 64-bit and then I'm going to select the INF file located inside and click open and then OK it'll give you the option for the printer. You want to select it and hit next. I'm going to replace the driver since it's already been installed at one point on this computer and click next. And then here you do not want to make this your default printer so I'm going to select no. I'm not going to share the printer. I'm going to hit next. And you can opt to print a test page if you'd like. I do recommend printing a test page here. It'll let you know that the printer is actually connected and printing properly. Now that we have the printer installed as a local printer, we want to install the power driver. 
just run the power driver click next I agree next and install I should also mention that you can download the power driver for Progress's website on this window you want to click continue anyway Now it's going to ask you to register the power driver. Go ahead and select yes. And then either click on it, obtain registration code. If you do this, it'll open a web page for you to fill out personal information about yourself and your printer and submit. Once you submit that, you almost immediately get an email back from Sawgrass with a registration code. Or if you'd like, you can call the number listed above 1 um, 843 884 1575, option 1 and let them know. They'll ask you for this product ID number and then they'll read off a registration code to you. Once you have that registration code just click apply code. The next thing it's going to do is ask you to select an OEM printer from the list. Just click OK and then click on the OEM printer list and select your printer. Click apply and OK. All right. It is not necessary to actually reboot so I'm just going to tell it I want to manually reboot later and click finish. Next we want to go back to printers and faxes and you'll notice you now have a power driver listed as well as the Epson printer. Any prints you want to make sure you select the power driver to print to. And at this point you're ready to go. If you have any issues or questions about this or anything else we support at Condi, just give us a call at 1-800-826-6332, option 2 for technical support, or send us an email to support at condi.com.